My name is Megan Elizabeth. I am originally from Chicago, Illinois. I go to the School of the Museum of Fine Arts here in Boston, and I am an artist. I do lots of collage and sculpture. I've also done medical illustration, and I do some bookmaking as well. I first started looking into art when I was a junior in high school. I had an anatomy and physiology professor that had us draw all of the um, parts of the body to help us memorize them. And not only did it really help me, but I also found that I really enjoyed it and I was kind of good at it. So I started taking some drawing classes. Um, I originally was pursuing a degree in nursing and the more I went along that track, the more I realized it wasn't for me. And whenever I was stressed or during my free time, I was always drawing and always making art. So that was kind of the first sign for me that I needed to switch to pursuing a career in art. Art has really changed the way I see the entire world. I will be walking along in the city and I'll see a trash can and instead of just walking past it like everyone else, I'm just immediately captivated by what could be inside that I could use for a sculpture or, you know, other things about like materials for collaging. It's just completely changed the way I see ordinary objects in ordinary life. I notice everything. I'm working on several projects right now. One of them is a sculpture that's incorporating a thousand interesting things that I've been collecting over the course of the semester. A lot of it is just trash and like things that most people wouldn't think to pick up off the street. So I'm really excited for people to see how things like that can be beautiful. A little cliche, but honestly, that's what I'm trying to do here. I feel like some of my greatest achievements with my art so far have just been being able to connect to people in a way that I can't really do with words. I have two zines that I made, little magazines, about secrets and people really freaked out over them and I was kind of wondering why and I realized it's just a universal human experience is having secrets that you don't want to tell people. I also think that using my art as therapy has been a really great achievement for me as well. I have two pieces that were really therapeutic for me to make, Dear Michael and Roadmap. And I was just able to pick parts of my brain that I had never really looked at before because I was maybe afraid. Being creative to me means always, always, always paying attention to what's around you. And not just like seeing things, but really like documenting them as well. I don't think there's a specific emotion that I try to put into all my pieces, but I'm always, always, always making sure that everything I do has a sense of brutal honesty. I really like my pieces to attack the subject matter as straightforwardly as possible. I think that's so important because art is such an unrestricted form of expression that I utilize that and that I really make sure that people can see what I'm trying to say. and. If they're uncomfortable, whatever. 